church. You understand that in church this morning. But when you said love my neighbor, I'm going to love my neighbor. Why? Because I was buried in baptism. So everything my mother told me, my father taught me, my environment taught me, everything that I had before does not matter. Because when I went in the water by faith, I died. And I was, I was raised up in newness. So now grace is running my life. God's telling me where to go, how to go, when to go, and what to do. So now that I'm, now I'm under grace, I have to die to all that I am. So all those bad attitudes I had and all the things I got to keep, keep telling people, y'all just got to understand this how I am. You ain't dead yet. Because if you have died with Christ, how you are wouldn't matter no more. You'll give up your reputation. You'll give up your way of being and say, Lord, I'm going to do it your way. So instead of confronting somebody and arguing with them, you say, you know that I'm going to love you. I came from a family where we fought all the time. That's my old way of being. But now that I'm buried in Christ and risen again, I'm going to do it God's way. So instead of arguing with you, I'm just going to love you. Because God said I should love you. I know I used to go to the club and spend all my money, but God said I should get tired. So instead of buying them shoes, I'm just going to get tired this Sunday. Because I'm up on the branch. I think I came to the wrong church because I know this is the right message. So I have to understand now that I'm living up under the grace of God. Grace is all about God. So let's just see some things about grace this morning that I wrote down for you. Grace, grace. Let's say grace is the God. Grace is the work of God in the life of man. The Bible says by grace are you saved. You know what that means? By God's power. I just explained that. The book says in Romans 3.24, you are justified by grace. You don't become justified by God based on your lifestyle. Right, right. And I appreciate that. So many people don't come to church. So many people don't do ministry. Because they don't understand justification is by God's power. Amen. God justified you. Amen. And when you got saved, he knew who you was when he justified you. Amen. You know what that means? He qualified you to do all things. So there's nothing going on in your life that should disqualify you from ministry. There's nothing that's going on in your life that should disqualify you from having the best things and wanting the best. Because you've been justified through God's own work in your life. By grace, you've been justified. The Bible says you became righteous by grace. Am I, are y'all getting what I'm saying here? It was God's grace that got you the way you are. You're right with God through grace, not works. Because if it was works, then there's no more of grace. But if it was grace, it's no longer of works. So if, if, God, if I'm living up under grace, it's not about what I can do, it's what I can believe. Or what I'm willing to believe. My God. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15 10, I am what I am by the grace of God. The great apostle Paul, who we read all the time, he said, I'm doing this. I'm able to write these scriptures. I'm able to preach. I'm able to stand up under the pressure by the grace of God. I'm able to overcome the devil by the grace of God. Somebody heart of grace. I know this is a hard message for you because you don't hear this a lot. But let me tell you something. You know you done tried everything you know how to try. You don't study every scripture you know how to study. And you still can't get it to happen. But if you just receive grace, if you step aside and say, Lord, I'm just going to receive your influence in this thing. I'm just going to believe what you said in your word. I'm going to act like that's true, but I don't think it's true. I'm just going to receive your grace. It's going to make the biggest difference in your life that you could ever imagine. Grace is sufficient for you. Amen. Uh, so let me just... Give me about 10 more minutes, I'll be finished. Some of the Holy Grace. Grace. Before I read the scriptures, I might as well just tell you something. If you're going to succeed in this kingdom, if you have an apostolic anointing on your life, an apostolic call, you're part of an apostolic ministry. If you are a life changer on this earth, you have to learn, and you will have to learn how to receive grace. Amen. Because the warfare that you deal with is so intense, only grace will get you to the next place. Amen. Grace is going to be the thing that gets you through the next struggle. Grace is going to think, gonna be the thing that gets you over your flesh. Grace is going to be the thing that gets you to love people. Grace is going to be the thing that's going to get you to obey God. Grace, and you, know, you, you got to do it by grace. Because if you stay in your flesh, you're going to quit on this journey sooner or later. Because the devil is going to trip you up. Oh, put somebody on bottom here. He's going to trip you up, confuse you, knock you over. You don't know what's going on. Half the time, you don't know what's going on, what to do, how to do it, when to do it. But if you just stop and receive grace, you don't feel it when you receive grace. You don't think it when you receive grace. You just receive it because it's written. Amen. Sometimes when you're in the midst of that stuff, you just gotta stop, like I did in my prayer this morning, and say, Lord, I just received grace. Yeah, when that devil tell me I was wasting my time coming here, I don't have nothing to say, and the pressure on my neck, ain't nobody coming to church, I said, Lord, I received grace. Because it's up to me, I may not go, because I feel discouraged and disappointed, I'm just gonna right now. But I received, oh, shut up. I received, oh, God help me. I received grace, and I, I trust your grace in my life, so I'm gonna walk over there, drive over there, get the microphone in my hand, and start preaching on the grace. Amen. 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 Uh, 
Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. If you get it, it's going to bless you. When you get in the midst of that trouble, just draw on grace. When you know you can't do it, draw on grace. When it don't make sense to you, draw on grace. When you're in pain, draw on grace. When you're sick, draw on grace. When you're disillusioned, draw on grace. When they need you, draw on grace. When you 